What we've got here is a SafeVac SV400, which is the green tank that you see on the back, which is then directly coupled up to our SB4510. I'd like to invite you to come down. We'll have a bit of a, a run around the machine. We'll show you how the system operates and, and all the improvements we've made to vacuum lifting. You've got a vacuum pump located at the rear of the machine, which is driven by a hydraulic motor. And it generates vacuum in the tank at the rear, passes the vacuum down over the boom, down the dipper arm. So we have a one-way valve, which is directly coupled to the base of the rotator, which is installed down inside this tank. In the event that if you ever have the main vacuum hose rupture, you can never drop a pipe because it's got a one-way valve there. The vacuum is passed down through into the rotator, through the rotator into the one-way valve, fills the tank, comes out of the tank into our valve, which is our vacuum control. So it latches and releases from the pipe. So it then shares the vacuum up through the air filter out to the shoes for latching. And then when you want to unlatch, the valve opens, it vents through the vent filter and releases the pipe ultimately, which is controlled up in the cabin. So for our uh, pressure monitoring at the shoes, we have pressure transducers mounted at either end of the spreader beam, which gives you a live pressure back to the screen in the excavator. So the operator's got a good visual and can see any discrepancies in pressures between the shoes because at the end of the day, this is the most crucial part if you haven't got a good seal on the shoe. That's also accompanied by analog gauges, which are mounted opposing one another at each shoe for any bystander or spotter in the vicinity, so that they can obviously see any pressure discrepancies between the shoes and know that it's unsafe. If we ever reach a unsafe low pressure, we have red beacons either side of the head bracket and one on the rear, and they're also accompanied by an alarm system. We also have uh, rotation sensors mounted onto the rotator, so if the pipe comes into a close proximity with the host machine, it will warn the operator and basically not allow him to, to slew into the machine. We've got our pipe guide system as well, so it's just a uh, HDPE pad, uh, which is spring-loaded obviously, so it touches the pipe before the seal does and it helps guide the shoe onto the pipe before the rubber actually touches the pipe. All these systems are designed to be able to handle 20,000 lifts per their lifetime cycle. So what we've got on the laptop here is basically a mirror image of what the operator would be looking at in operation. We then also have the main tank pressure, which is obviously our reserve pressure in the main tank at the rear, and also the tank pressure in the beam itself. And then we have our vacuum uh, release and latch icons, which are powered through the joysticks of the excavator. So they're a time delay. So you have to press and hold the left lever for two seconds, press and hold the right, and it will allow you to latch the pipe. Same for, for releasing. The SV400 is lifting your expectations of what a vacuum lifting system can do for you. Visit austrackequipment.com.au today.